I watched a lot of Miley Cyrus videos for prepping this video. And I can tell you, this is the best one. Hey Earthlings, welcome to Cloud Shadow TV. I'm Jesse. that's Alan, and uh, welcome back, or welcome here for the first time. So, uh, I've talked about this a little bit on my channel before, and I posted my music video reel, but I actually direct music videos. Um, I went to UCLA Film School, and it's really fun. I love doing it. I also have directed some short films. But for now, I'm mostly in the music video space. So I guess I'm just telling you that to qualify why I am, I guess, qualified to give a, like, breakdown and review of why I actually think Miley Cyrus's Flowers video is really good. This music video was directed by Jacob Bixenman. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, he's actually a model, he's been a creative director, and he did Miley Cyrus's like, album preview, which is called Attention, which actually has some really cool shots in it. But I actually think this is his first music video, correct me if I'm wrong, but, uh, shout out to Jacob, this is a really well done, like, first music video, if that's your first. The DP was Marcel Rev, the editor was Brendan Walter. The production company is called Friendjoy. The producers are named Nathan Shearer, Fabian Colise, and Brian Younts. I hope I'm pronouncing those right. Oh, and make sure you watch until the end because I have like a little conspiracy theory um, that this is actually a sequel to her Slide Away music video. I would love to play the video and song. I'm afraid for that for because of copyright purposes. All right, so we open on a shot of LA but then it pans over to Miley on this bridge which is a nice beautiful opening it like sets the setting right away we know we're kind of off in the hills somewhere Miley's on this grungy bridge but then she turns on to her like luxurious street we first see Miley from like a little bit far away and she's in this gold outfit which it she says the word gold in the lyrics and it kind of matches to her outfit, but not, you know, over the toply spot on. I love this outfit for a music video. The textures, the asymmetrical crossing. Um, these are all, all of these things bring your eyes right to that dress. It is a stunning music video dress, in my opinion. Also, you can do stuff with it because it has the hood. You can have the hood on, take it off. She starts with it on, and then as she gets into her, like, neighborhood, we assume she has the hood off, she has her hair down, and she puts it up. That's another thing. A lot of these scenes are a little bit slow, but Miley's always moving, and that keeps our attention. She also starts a little bit moody in her facial expressions, like the song suggests she was sad until she realized um what she needed which also I think the general theme of this music video is like rich people self-care this is like everyone's dream self-care am I right running around in your underwear in a mansion heck yeah when she gets into her neighborhood she starts dancing a little bit and what I like about this is she starts dancing before her lyrics speak about dancing so it doesn't feel cheesy because it happens a little bit before she says it instead of being like matchy matchy. From start to finish, I think this video is handheld and that brings it this like raw quality that doesn't feel forced. It's still like in full color, looks like a modern camera, but it has that slight shake of a handheld camera. And I think that was a really smart decision. I'll talk about some of Miley's previous music videos, but I feel like she's tried to get this raw look a lot of times, but this is the first time that she's actually kind of nailed it. So I've broken this music video into eight scenes. So to me, this is the third scene where we see this kind of voyeuristic view of Miley through the window. Um, this is a slightly repeated pattern in the video. It matches the handheld vibe. Also, it makes us feel like we're seeing something we're not supposed to. And how I think that relates to like Miley right now is I feel like she's embracing her pop star. A lot of the time I feel like she tries to be like an ordinary girl, but she's not an ordinary girl. And I feel like instead of kind of shying away from that, in this video, she embraces it. She shows her, I guess, slightly more Kardashian side to her life. And I actually think it works because it's real for her. Like, if somebody who wasn't, you know, famous since a child did this, 
it might feel like, oh, their life's not, not like that at all. But Miley, like, this is probably, like, what she does chilling by herself on a Sunday. Like, dancing around the house in her underwear, working out, swimming in the pool. I really feel like this is the most, like, broken down, raw Miley that we've seen, even though it is glamorous, but she is glamorous. I like that she's showing that side and not shying away from it. There's so much attention to detail in this video, even though it is pretty bare, like I talked about before with the texture of her gold outfit um even kind of like the shape of the street she's on she's on a piece of the road that curves and starts going into a hill she's so you see a little bit of grass you see the curve it's very visually pleasing and with these sprinklers i think that was very purposeful as well the way that they're lined up puts miley in the center she has the stri strips of water um, you know, pretty evenly on both sides of her, but they're off timed from each other and it gives a very nice visual effect. And also this is the first scene where we see Miley in her underwear, which Miley has gone a little scandalous in a lot of her videos before. And we love that for her. Rock on Miley, which also I feel like she does a lot of like forced rock or like forced country vibes to her videos and I just like that this isn't trying to do that. I just feel like it's really who Miley is. And then we get into our fourth scene at the pool. Now pools are a music video trope. Every girl looks good in a pool. Also this video builds up on its sexiness to keep your attention. Like first we see her from far away in her underwear, then the back of her jumping in the pool. And then we get the full shot in like bra and underwear where she's laying on the ground by the pool, which also is a running theme in Miley's videos. She lays on the ground a lot. Then we get into the workout scene, which is another classic music video trope. Like the first one that comes to my mind is uh, the Fade music video um, by Kanye, where Tiana Taylor is the centerpiece of the video, working out and dancing. This is not that by any means, but the working out aspect I'm saying is like a big thing in music videos. The first shot of the scene is really cool. It's face on Miley handheld and he's just like slowly pushing in to her in between the ropes and uh it's just really cool it's a really cool shot this whole scene where she's doing the exercise has cool lighting because the roof has paneling and so the lighting is coming through the paneling and those shadows are like celebrated in the shot and it looks really nice honestly and the working out starts like ooh, just getting it working out doing like hardcore things where you're like okay that's how you got that snatch bod she looks amazing then it gets into a little bit of like sexy dancing working out she does this thing on her back where she like tips her toes in and she looks amazing she looks like you know a woman i feel like in some of her videos like malibu she tries to do or people have her try to do this like innocent sexy thing which I feel like is made for like the creepy grown men who liked her when she was 15. So I personally appreciate this style of sexy a lot more. With a lot of these exercise shots, the camera is handheld following her. So while I keep bringing up handheld, a lot of music videos nowadays are steady cam. So even when there's movement, steady cam or like on a crane or something. So even when there's movement, it's super, super, super smooth. And the camera is moving like with no shake. With handheld, we get that slight shake and it just gives it a lot more uh, texture. It's like a, it's a more indie vibe. And while we're getting these like slight voyeuristic shots, which come up in this next scene again, when she's in the bathroom, it just, it gives a video, a video that raw look I really feel like Miley's been trying to get in an authentic way. So next we have the shower scene. And this one starts with this voyeuristic shot that starts on her shadow. And then we get like a tiny peek of her naked in the shower from the back. And then she's kind of like dancing under the water. And there's a little bit of her like with a robe on throwing clothes out of the closet. And I feel like this is the peak of the sexy part of the video. And then we transition into boss bitch 100%.
the whole time she's a boss bitch from after the scene in the video we're at full boss bitch vibes miley puts on a suit she has her hair like wet and slicked back behind her and this is when the real like dancing by herself just like pops off I definitely think a big inspiration for this part of the video was the music video Weapon of Choice by Fat Boy Slim featuring Bootsy Collins, which is one of the most iconic music videos of all time. And I think that this actually is like a really well done, inspired version of that. I feel like a lot of music videos have done it before, but here you have Miley, who is like top tier celebrity. And she's killing it with these like dancing by yourself moves because you don't need the like um, Beyonce dance routine for this type of feeling. What you want is the girl dancing alone in her room, just kind of having fun vibes. And I think Miley actually really got that, which again, even though she's in this boss bitch suit with the elements of like the handheld, um, it feels like we're in her home. I'm not sure if this is really her home or not, but those, all of these things pa packed together. Plus like, it's just been her alone the entire video really give the video the raw um, feeling, I feel like, once again, when we're seeing Miley's elevated lifestyle. There's another really great shot in this scene with the suit where it starts in like a very white room, but there's a windowed or like a, there's some sort of reflective surface on one side and the rest of the room is white with these like, I don't know, modern statues in the corner, two of them. And Miley walks by and her reflection is walking by with her. We're still handheld, like walking back slowly in front of her, I'm assuming. And it's a, it's a really cool, pretty shot. I would expect to see something like this in an indie movie. Props to Jacob Bixenman. He's a, he's a really good director for this being his first music video. He has a lot of creative experience, though. But the again, in this part, the dancing starts just a little bit before the like main part of the chorus hits. I like that because I feel like it makes it less cheesy, less matchy-matchy. And this is where Miley is just getting it. She's dancing. She's putting her arms like up like this a lot. She does that a lot in the video. This is the first scene in the video where we're, we're in one like part of the song and the scene is cut into two. So we have the daylight dancing in her room and then the nighttime dancing outside where there's a helicopter above her giving her a spotlight and again creating this cool lighting. The message that I got from that is everyone's always watching Miley so let me put on a show and embrace it. This is me. I'm going to do what I want. Here I am. Arms above the head. I thought that it was really well done. Music video from beginning to end it keeps your attention. That's what these algorithms are all about, isn't it? I think, you know, it starts off with this like slow but still captivating visually pacing and then we move up the hill and into her house where we get the first like super wide shot with her and the sprinklers and a lot of times in this video it goes from like wide shots to pretty close up or close up to very wide. I like that. It's a little bit more modern of a way to direct and I find it interesting visually. That's definitely like a personal preference thing. Some people really don't like it. So I couldn't really think of like a specific swimming music video that's like this one. This pool scene is actually kind of a bit more cinematic but I did find there's like a music video IMDB and there's an entire page of music videos in pools. So that's like that qualifies me saying it's a music video trope. Okay. And uh, that's one of the things I think that like makes this video as viral and good as it is. I mean, you have Miley, but using these viral things that are in music, music videos, but in kind of a fresh way and putting them all together, for me, it really worked. I think that this is the least flashy, least for like anybody else Miley video that I've ever seen. I watched and rewatched a few of her old videos before I made this video. Some of them are wild, um, BB Talk being the most wild of them all. I have a theory that she was, like, dating someone who was into that, and that video was, like, for him and for him alone, because what the fuck, Miley? 
<laughs> I had not seen that video before I made this and what how like first of all how did I miss that like I feel like it had millions of views and is fucking wild how did I miss that I was shocked I was shook so there's eight scenes in this video and they're all linear in like almost a narrative order and I feel like it gives it a story m along with the song Instead of just being a music video where we see Miley in a bunch of different scenes looking cool or pretty or like in one big set piece, like Wrecking Ball for example, and that's my favorite type of music video, that's the type of music video that I direct a lot, and this is a very simple stripped down version of that. For me, it's very inspirational. I am going to take a lot of inspiration from this video moving forward in my videos. By the way, if you are interested in my music video services or just want to see the music videos that I've done, you can go to www.jessieclarman.com and then go to the music video tab. These eight scenes also play with the pieces of the song. So the first scene is the intro, then we go into the verse and we are in another location. And then there's the bridge, which is the short little scene with the sprinklers and then we go to the chorus at the pool and then back into the verse for the workout then it goes into the bridge for the shower scene the sexy climax of this music video then the boss bitch suit scene starts in the hallway where there's the like slowed down part of the song and then she moves into another room and the dancing kind of really gets to its highest point I think I did actually consider this all one scene, but then it goes into two scenes within the chorus um, when she's inside her room dancing in the daylight and then also outside at night. And this is the first time within like a chunk of the song that there has been more than one scene and it's at the end, it picks up the pace, and I thought it was very well done. So I promised you guys a little conspiracy theory, so I'm going to stick to that promise. And that is that I think this video might be a sequel to Slide Away by Miley Cyrus. Slide Away came out three years ago. She's had other music videos since then. But in that video, she's in a similar, if not the same house. But there's a party going on. But she's also in a pool. And when she's in a pool, that's when she feels like serene and happy. She's also in a gold dress that is not the same gold dress, but it's a similar gold dress. So my theory is that the slide away video and song is talking about like wanting to get away from the party lifestyle of LA, wanting to slide away to her home in the hills and just relax and have self care. And in the flowers music video, it's like she has realized those dreams. So she starts off in the gold dress, the glam, the party, even though she's still wearing this, that's still a piece of her. She's just walking alone, having a nice, relaxing nature walk. Maybe she's even a little bit sad, missing that part of her. Then she realizes, wait, I can make myself happy and this is what I wanted all along. And she takes off that gold dress and she's in her black plain underwear, which is like, I think a very good choice because it's not flashy at all. It's simple, it's sleek, it's very like modern of this era, like what we like to see now. She looks amazing in it, like I gotta say that a million times, Miley looks so good in this video. But then she's in her pool once again, this time she's not just lying there hoping to be happy, she is happy, she feels free, she's swimming and she gets out and she continues to work on her healthy lifestyle, working out you know, dancing alone in her room, but still having that boss bitch side to herself with her suit and her, like, that power that is within her. That is my conspiracy as to why the Flowers music video is actually a sequel to Slide Away. The Slide Away video is also a good example of that kind of forced rawness I was talking about that Miley has had in some previous videos where she's using these like lo-fi techniques but it's Miley and we know she can afford like anything she wants and so it just doesn't feel, I don't know, 
there's also like these effects going on with it. It just feels like forced rawness to me. And where this video feels real, stripped down, but has all those pop star pieces within it. Five star, 10 star, 20 star video. I'm gonna be taking a lot of lessons from this. And I wanted to share what I learned with you guys. Make sure to let me know what you think in the comments. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can give me a thumbs down. That's fine too. And it would be awesome if you subscribe. I make all kinds of content. Sometimes I talk about aliens. Sometimes I talk about Warped Tour. Sometimes I uh, invite guests like Cheryl. You just gotta go watch that video to find out what I'm talking about. One last point I want to make about the video is that it doesn't have a super shock value thing to it, but it still has like this virality, viralness, viral capability to it. I don't know what the right word would be for that. Um, but in a lot of her videos, I think that she goes for shock. Like in the video with Dua Lipa for prisoners they look like they're about to make out in wrecking ball I think that was the first time we saw her fully naked swinging on a wrecking ball um she's got like her tongue out and twerking we want to talk about the cultural appropriation and can't stop won't stop or what's that song called we can't we can't stop but yeah I think a lot of times Miley goes for shock value and she held back this time and for me it really worked those are my thoughts on the flowers video by Miley Cyrus. I just wanted to share what I learned with you guys because I'm going to be taking a lot of inspiration from this video going forward in my music videos as a director. This is where I kept my notes, so that's why I keep flinging it around if you've seen it um, throughout the video. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. I talked about BB Talk. That was so weird Miley she says in the song she says like your baby talk is creeping me out Miley you are creeping me out you are the creepy one why are you like grinding on a crib rail I can't I can't please can stop will stop for that well thank you for watching my name's Jessie this has been a cloud shadow tv video make sure you like subscribe comment uh, what's your favorite Miley Cyrus music video? There are a lot. I tried to watch them all before this, and I was like, oh my god. There's like 15 years of music videos. I watched maybe 70% of them. I watched a lot. Peace out, Earthlings. I'm gonna get my nails done soon, I promise. They'll be different in the next video. That's maybe not true. I might film it before I get my nails done. I'm going out of town soon. Anyways. Anyways. Bye.